the 11th of September 2017. I'm your host, Danny Mo. There's delay, but we were having technical difficulties. So um, I hope we're still getting a bit of a, a start here and some lovely testimonials from you. Um, just see who's there. <clears throat> now, do we have, we have anybody to, who would like to start today? I know we're a bit late, but we still have a few, good few attendees here. anyone who'd love to start? It looks like we're all in catch-up mood. <laughs> um, I know I was talking to Willie yesterday and he had a story he might, so I, I might try to pull Willie in, but uh, that might be unfair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had a few people lined up here. It's just that um, they probably thought we're not uh, we're not having the meeting tonight. Okay. <laughs> so we'll just see if everybody gets organized. We we'll see if Willie has something. That'd be well, fantastic. Aww. Hello, everyone. Mm -hmm. This is Willie from Norway. Hi, Willie. Uh, hi. Well, it's not much of a story, but uh, it's. A really good one. Anyway, uh, I don't know if you remember I had a testimonial of the lotion I made for my father's radi radiation treatments. Yes, I do remember that, uh, really. Well, he has a friend who, who had to go for the same treatment because he also had lung cancer, yeah? And my father was really worried about him, so he asked me if he could use the same mixture that I made for him that he had sitting in a bottle in his cupboard. And I told him he could just uh, go ahead and do it. And he did, and called the guy after 14 days, and he was totally ecstatic because he has got no burns whatsoever and the doctors are totally baffled. I don't have any, like, pictural proof or anything for it, though. So, it just remains a good story. Yes. I remember you were telling that story about your, your dad, was it right? He had yeah. a radiation treatment? Yes. Um, would you be able to to tell us again what was in that in that cream? How you did it? Yeah, well, I mixed it as I've been taught by by the foundation after my own understanding at that point of in that point of time. Uh, I don't have a picture of it, uh, but I have the recipe and. Uh, but I'm not kind of ready for it, though. But, uh, if you wait just a second, I will find the, sure. find the picture. Maybe I oh, can just right. uh, share the picture and then... You don't happen to remember the recipe, Liberty? <laughs> um, that's a good. Uh, I know there is all the regular gans. No. No. Okay. No. I would 
Yeah, well, it's... Do you want to try and get that picture? Yeah, I'm, I'm on it, okay. but, okay. you know, my old computer is... Uh, I can try and see if I can pull it up if you want. From your now I know where it is. I'll keep doing that while you do. No worries. If you feel under pressure now, let me take your time. And we'll see if somebody else <laughs> wants to share anything and we'll just come back to you then. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thank you, Willie. Uh, That's great to I've hear. I've already found the album, but uh, mm -hmm. I'll have to just share the share the page with the with the recipe picture is there um, how do I get it to full screen like that Uh, yeah, well, the recipe is pretty simple. Uh, um, it's 40 milliliters of CO2, half a milliliter of zinc. One milliliter of CH3, two drops of CuO, Just one drop of calcium, one drop of magnesium, and one drop of silver. And you've put all of that into a regular lotion or yeah. something that you created? And it's four drops of, uh, well, it's a lot of different kind of food ganses. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And it's, uh, it's really effective. Uh, you have to keep in mind that the order is, uh, for the, Lower to the higher, the way I mixed it. Are you writing it down for us now, or because I can hear you hammering your keyboard? <laughs> yeah, well, it's not me writing. <laughs> okay, I hope, yeah, it's I somebody hope. else's keyboard that's writing. This. <laughs> I thought it was you, honey. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not able to write and speak at the same time. I'm not that <laughs> <Okay>. good. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, there's uh, another ingredients, but that's just for the moods, and it's not legal in every country. Can I ask you again, Willie? You said 40 milli CO2. What was the next one? Uh, writing right out. Half a mil of zinc. Okay. One mil of CH3. And there's two drops of CU, CUO. Okay. One drop of calcium. Yeah, the rest I have, but you might, somebody else might okay. be trying to catch this, so that's good. Yeah. And one drop magnesium, one drop silver, and four drops food ganses, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, I sh well, what's in the food ganses is another question, because it's a lot of different herbs and uh, vegetables and other things. So the mixture will be somewhat of a chance, uh, but somewhere I have a list of all the gans, gans waters that's mixed in that so-called vegetable soup. So you went with your own intuition when you made that lotion, is it? Yes. When you added the food cancers, okay. 
And then your your friend applied it once a day or twice a day or? Yeah, well, my father applied it once before every treatment on his chest because that's where he could reach himself. And my mother applied every weekend, uh, each day in the weekend, uh, on his back. And on the opposite, opposite side of where he got the treatment because he got some sun <coughs> colored spot there, spots there from the treatment and um, this uh, friend of my father he he didn't use it before every treatment or after but almost and the resu results from my father was uh, no sign of burns whatsoever on his chest where he had it applied every day, two, two times a day because he got two treatments a day. And uh, some uh, brownish discoloring on his back where he only applied it every weekend, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, his friend said, because we have only spoken to him on the phone, and he's, he was totally ecstatic, so it was kind of hard to understand him. But he, <laughs> he was so glad he didn't have any burns, because he was seeing all the other people having the same treatments in the hospital, and they got blisters and all kinds of problems. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Would you be able to put that down or maybe you've already put it down onto the um, testimonial website yeah I tried that it didn't work for me so I could never get it out there mm -hmm. but so it's only out on my public Facebook album okay but yeah, it'd uh, be great to have that on the website as well yeah yeah if but yeah we have to talk about that then yeah I'm but sure we get that done maybe you can help me or something sure. Thank you very much, Willy. You're a star. You're so welcome. Thanks. Yeah. And I'm no sorry I'm on the spot, Willy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay, Liberty. It's okay. I love you all anyway, so. Uh, it's probably time to share something. Thanks so much, Willy. So, yeah. Then I'll leave the floor for someone else and... If there's any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Great. Excellent. Thank you very much, Willy. Thank you all. Do we have uh, anyone else who would like to share their experiences with the cash technology um, experiments they made? I can see a single picture. Oh, hello. Hello. This is Eric, how are you? I'm fine, and you too? Good, yes. It's we're a bit late today, but we're here. A bit sweaty about technical problems, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Eric, what do you have for us? I just have a picture I would like to show you. Yes, and what is that about? <clears throat> that is about the uh, look into a GANS bottle. Okay. <clears throat> sure. And I have to uh, be allowed to see a screen. No, do you want to try? Just go ahead. It will take over. There's still somebody sharing. It doesn't matter, you can still click on new share, select what you wish to share, and it takes over. Yeah, I have, I have. No, no, it says I cannot share while another is sharing. <clears throat> see, just a moment. This is the day of the technical challenges, I'd say. <laughs> yes, it is. It's in the time, you know. Yeah. And that's why we're here. We're getting there. Thank you all for your patience there.
Now something is happening here. Will you try again, Eric, first? Yeah, now, now I succeeded. And I'm back to the same problem with uh, all too many windows open. And I have no slide bar to, I have to close a lot of windows before I can, ah, I have another option. I can move this to the front end of the windows, I think. Window lists, let's try that. Yeah, then I try again. No, no, it doesn't work that way. Close windows. Uh. Eric, if it's not working at the moment, you want to solve your windows and come back to us then? Just yeah. so you're not under pressure here. Yeah, yeah we're supporting the... you, Eric. Don't worry. We, this happens to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think I'm... Almost there? I'm almost there now. Let's see. share screen. Okay. Now it's there. Uh, come so, come so. Why is it doing that? Uh, I have to click. The problem is this, it's overlapping now. Yeah, can you see it now? Something is yeah. coming up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will share the full desktop, but if there is nothing to hide, it's okay. Then go ahead. Yeah. Yes. This, That's I have to read what's stated on the bottom. This is a copper oxide liquid plasma with a drop of the four other, three other basic gases. So it's for heating. And uh, it has been subject to the fields from a macro. And then it forms this pattern. And unfortunately, I didn't see this before I took some water from the bottle. But uh, I have been told that this is actually showing the, the formation of the spaceship, the reactors. This pattern is formed in, in the, on the surface of the water. And now I disturbed it with a needle. And maybe it will regenerate later so I can see it as it should have been. I put uh, the needle a little above the top of the middle of the picture where there is a hole. So, and then, then it draw the upper at one o'clock position of the ring towards the needle when I sucked out some uh, liquid. But it's quite interesting that these things happen, that the, the fields generate this. It's also against, I don't remember which type it, I was told it was. And there's also GANS at the bottom. So something uh, indicates that uh, if you have a macro working and you have some liquid plasma near the macro when it's working, then <clears throat> you will probably get some GANSes. And you could try to uh, have the four basic uh, liquid plasmas around the macro and uh, see what happens. Because if you can generate more, more against this way, it will be a more pure form, I guess. This is just what I had. I have a lot of ongoing work, but uh, I cannot present anything of that. So. Uh, yeah, thank you, Eric. Did you, did you place your Gans water around the Magraf or actually, for how long? 
it is half a meter away seen from the top and uh, almost one meter above. Okay. And there was a bottle, another bottle a little further away and it also had, had uh, see this is the bottom of, of this bottle. You see a lot of ganses there also. Yeah, it looks a bit flaky, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, here you have another, the, the other bottle that was a little farther away and got, <clears throat> didn't get so much uh, strong field as the first one, but it also has some. And at the bottom you see also. So uh, yes. I, just, I just show this in order to other, for others to be aware of this can happen and see if they can experience something and report back. That was all for me today. Yes, that's a very good idea. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. You're welcome. So I stop here. Fantastic. Do we have anyone else who would like to show us something or give us their story, their experiences? May I ask a question? Is yes. this Patricia? Yes. Oh, great. Okay. Can you hear me? I can't hear myself. Yes, we can hear you fine. Thank you. Okay. Um, I think it was August 14th um, when Alex from Ontario shared his um, reactor setup and he showed us the picture of 11 um, Dixie cups with what he said he was using was phenol phthalene. Well, I bought phenol failing. I'm trying to replicate exactly what he did. And um, uh, phenol failing does not turn blue and yellow. It turns fuchsia pink. So I, I'd like to get in touch with him to find out what he actually is using. Because you know, uh, right now I'm sitting here with a reactor set up and no way of testing my results. I didn't want to just buy any, any um, pH um, tester. So is there any way I can get in touch with him? I don't see him here in the, in the participant list. Um, and I don't have a way of connecting. Hello, I'm here. Oh, you are, yay, okay. Hi there. The, the fuchsia is a pH, it's a higher pH. The uh, pH of five is, is kind of orange. The pH of uh, six is yellow. pH of seven is kind of green. pH of uh, eight is blue. And then you get into uh, uh, what you call like a fuchsia or you get into a deep purple. So you probably already have a pH of running close to nine. Alex. Hi. Um, phenol failing does not is clear up until 8.1 or 8.2. So, uh, and then it turns pink. So you, there's, you must have something else. Okay, I'm just going to check the, uh, I have a long range. There are some other failings. Could be, yeah. Um, I have a long range pH indicator, so, so that, that runs the, uh, the gamma. I think possibly, oh, pink, you, you probably have a short range. You probably have a short range pH indicator. There's a long range and a short range. Oh, well, the manufacturer, who's the manufacturer? Uh, on this one, I, this, this one comes from um, uh, a secondary uh, supplier. Uh, I, I don't know who the manufacturer is. Is there any way you can email me? Uh, yes. Well, uh, why don't you just... Uh, uh, you can my, contact each other in the, in the chat there. Yeah, just put her name. Okay. Patricia. I'll, pu I'll put my uh, email in the chat. The uh, just chat in there, just yeah. do it in the private chat, exactly, yeah. Pardon? Put it in the private chat. You Barbara, can choose the, the you, one that says Zoom webinar chat. Yeah, yes. but then right there you have a choice, Patricia. 
as yeah. to who you send it to. So you'll see Alex's name there and just post it to him. Oh, Alex. Uh, okay. Just click on his name. Oh, yep. I see. And then it All goes right. Okay. Me. I got it. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll, okay. I'll close my, my uh, mute button. Thanks for the question, Patricia. Thank you. Do we have anyone else who would like to give us their testimonial tonight? Hi, Hi Danny. Yes, hello. There are two people speaking. Can I see. You, can you hear me? Yeah, Peter. Yes, Peter speaking. Hi. Hi, Peter. How are I you? I have a nice testimonial. Uh, uh, and it happened on the 10th of August. August. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in Vienna and I felt very hard on the ground. I make a, a bad move and I fell very hard on the ground. And unfortunately, there was my arm in between the ribs and the ground. And uh, then I stood up and I thought nothing has happened. And I slept the first night and the second night I got very strong pain. And then uh, about uh, half past five in the morning, I had to go to the hospital uh, because I felt in my back uh, that uh, something is moving what shouldn't move. And then I was in the hospital and I made a radiography and they find out uh, at least one rib is, was broken. And they said me, I have to stay in the hospital for a few days uh, to be, make sure that uh, no organ has been uh, uh, hurt. And then uh, uh, the whole thing started with uh, infusions. They gave me infusions against the pain. And of course, I had my, my health pen patches uh, with me. Uh, around my my breast and uh, it it helped a lot but uh, they took they gave me also infusions uh, which didn't help at all and at two o'clock in the night I couldn't uh, lay in the bed anymore it was so painful uh, and I felt uh, around my liver that something got swollen and <laughs> then uh, uh, in the morning, uh, they made a, a ultrasonic and they found out my, my liver or my, my gallbladder had uh, a lot of stones. And they said to me, oh, immediately I should operate the gallbladder, the whole gallbladder I should take out. And this was enough for me, the, the, the experience in the hospital. And I went out. Uh, and then I was at home, uh, no organ was uh, hidden and only three broken strips. So uh, in the end, uh, they made a, a second radiography and they said at least three ribs have been broken. So then I went out of the hospital and at home, I just laid uh, the, the patches around me, CO2 and zinc oxide, nothing else. And I drank a lot of CO2 zinc oxide water. And after two days only, I could uh, reduce the painkillers to uh, one tablet in, the, in a day. And after four days, uh, I didn't use any more any painkillers. And after five days, it was done. It was done. Uh, since then, I hadn't any pain anymore. And uh, I, I was corresponding with Mr. Cash then, and I told him, I'm, I am in the club as well, because, you know, uh, he also broke, has broken his ribs. And then he, he laughed back. Uh, uh, that it was, it was in five days, uh, uh, three broken ribs healed, uh, and it was supposed uh, to, to uh, take at least six weeks but it was only in five weeks done. So, and uh, this was really great for me to experience. So that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You wouldn't have any before and after pictures, would you? 
Oh, uh, I have only before, uh, uh, during pictures, I should have gone to do a, another radiography uh, of the three days, but I didn't take this term in because uh, mm -hmm. I was enough of hospitals anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you've basically healed too, too and, fast uh, to take way, pictures. Uh, my my uh, my gallbladder is well now, and uh, I make a cure. And there is another correspondence I had with Mr. Cash uh, about uh, the gallbladder stones. And uh, you know, we haven't seen uh, what we could use for gallbladder stones. And as I know that the gallbladder stones are mostly made out of bilirubin and out of uh, cholesterol. And then I thought uh, if it could be maybe a good idea to put, uh, uh, how you call a uh, hemoglobin uh, patch on, on the, the liver to take out this uh, bilirubin of the gallbladder stones so that uh, they, they have to dissolve then. If, if they, one part of the stones is no more there, they have to dissolve. And then I wrote to Mr. Cash and he, I asked him if it would be a good idea and he said, yes, definitely. So, and now I am on the, my way and it will take maybe three, four weeks and then I will make another uh, ultrasonic to see if there are any stones left anymore. Yes, that would be very interesting to find out. Now. Yes, yes, I think so. But I mm -hmm. have to be patient with this. Yes. It's not like the ribs. <laughs> uh -huh. And are you wearing patches or are you drinking Gans water? I, or? No, not at the moment. It is, it is done. It is finished. Uh, okay. I don't need any more. Only for five days I needed it. Excellent. Thank you for sharing, Peter. Wonderful. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, I know we have Herbert here uh, who would like to share something with us. Herbert, would you like to come in, open your microphone and give us a quick introduction of, of who you are or where you're from or what you have for us, please? Yes, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, we hear you very well. Yeah. <clears throat> good evening, beautiful souls. I'm <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> I am uh, from Austria, Steiermark. And since uh, two and a half years uh, active uh, since the uh, Rome conference in 2015. And uh, I just came back from South Sudan. Uh, but th the story I would like to give uh, today is a very interesting one. <laughs> one of our of our Stammtisch uh, people um, one day in summer came to me and said he has a, he has two small ponds uh, which he uses for irrigation. So the one has around 400,000 liter, the other, the other one around 6 million liter. So the second one is bigger and he has a problem with the water. Because it, whenever it rains, it gets very dark, and that should not be. So then, I said, "Yeah, let's try with the guns waters." And uh, I brought him three bottles, where there were the zinc, CO2, and uh, copper. And in the bottles, I had only maybe five milliliter of Gans material. The rest was uh, Gans water. Uh, to, to try in the smaller pond, which was uh, the bad water. So he was not sure, but so he tried. He put it in a triangular position in the, in the, in the water. And um, then already after one week, he called me, he said, Herbert, it looks nice. It looks it, something. Something is happening, and um, so it was. It became. It, it became more, a little bit more clear. And when it was raining, it did not get that dark anymore. So 
after two weeks, then we said, yeah, maybe he also tries in the big one. The big, uh, uh, he had not that problem, but he has uh, he had some um, how is called uh, fungus there, algen, algen. Uh, and when he put it uh, on the moment he he went out with the boat to place the the bottles there, and he said this was incredible how the fishes were like uh, attacking uh, the bottle when he was placing it in in the water, N not attacking but uh, um, uh, was swimming directly to the bottle there, and also also after after. Three weeks later, we made a stammtisch, um, a meeting uh, at the at that place. We also uh, <clears throat> some some people where where he showed us uh, the the place. Actually, at that time, he normally he used the water for irrigation, but it was still. Um, wet enough, he did not need. And after after around three months, two months, two and a half months, it became more and more dry, and he wanted now to irrigate. He has a big uh, pump, electric pump, and uphill he has a container, and uh, before the container he has a filter. And normally he was uh, the filter was clean. And he started to pump, but the water did not go through. The pump got hot, and uh, fortunately, he could stop it at uh, the pump before it was broken. He said he did not know what happened. Then he asked the neighbor with an external tractor pump, and also that did not work. So he was he was desperate to find out what what happened that um, the, the pumps did not work. So finally, he took away the filter and tried again, and then it worked. So, what conclusion? The water was not dirty. The filter was not uh, dirty was normal, was clean, but the water did not go through the filter. I was, uh, at that moment when he called me, I was with a friend, <clears throat> uh, Helmut Halushan, and uh, I said, maybe we ask him, Helmut uh, does with the pendul pendulum, asking uh, his angels and we were asking so actually <laughs> yeah it must be some change in the structure of the water that it did not go through so and the answer which uh, helmut got was that the magnetic field of the water molecules is bigger now than before through the, through the guns uh, material in in the uh, in the pond. So he said around thirty percent bigger, and probably this was the reason the water did not go through the uh, through the filter. So what to do to change the filter? He needs he needs a filter because. Otherwise, the, the for irrigation would uh, be blocked by very small and uh, elements in the water. So he need the filter. What to do? And then <clears throat> uh, Helmut got the answer with the pendulum. We should try to put in the force. Um, um, Guns the CH3 into the pond there. So we, we uh, uh, just before I, I went to South Sudan, he came here and picked up the CH3 in a bottle and uh, and he placed it there. 
And Helmo said, yeah, it takes minimum five days. You should wait and, and then try. He had no time to try. After um, around three weeks now, the last, before the last weekend. No, last week he tried. <sighs> Uh, he, he switched on the pump and the water went through the filter. Isn't that exciting? Uh, this, uh, <clears throat> this is amazing that uh, uh, through putting now the, 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 the CA3 into, into the water there, after after these three weeks, the the uh, uh, the water uh, um, could go through the filter. That is amazing. <laughs> that is truly amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Yeah, because you know, I uh, yeah, it. <laughs> uh, Hans was so happy that this was solved now. This problem. That he could now irrigate his his plants, his uh, his tree, and his blackberries. And Herbert, would you be able to give um, a rough measurement of how much CH3 into how many liters of water? Um, would you uh, have an estimate? Yeah, um, <clears throat> it was. <clears throat> I tried to have from all of the four uh, ganses the same amount, uh, around five milliliter of 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 gans, gans uh, crystals. Yeah. Yeah, of dried dried gans or. Yeah, uh, um, the the crystals, the gans flocken. Um, and uh, in in liquid uh, plasma in gans water. But that there was guns material with with uh, with the guns water, so it was not just the 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 guns water, the liquid plasma, but also guns. Ah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, it was probably the same amount. But the the the, the big uh, pond there is quite big, with uh, six million liter. This is around. This is. 6,000 uh, cubic meter and and just this these four bottles in there and the other thing what he said after he placed the CH3 there because the, before the fish were always very active were uh, eating a lot of the dry food he, he gives them and after putting the CH3 he observed that the fish started to eat less. Now he he uses around one third of the food less than before. Is it that, that the, <laughs> you see it's it's feeding the fish to a certain extent? Herbert, did yes. you actually put the gans in the water or just the vials in the water? Uh, just the um, we used uh, one and a half liter bottles, yeah. and they they are swimming in the water. We did not put the guns into the water directly. Beautiful. So it's just the fields of it that is doing. Just it. the fields, yeah. And he Woo! placed he placed yes. the, he, he placed them in before it was in a triangular uh, formation in the in the water in the in the in the pond. And then he puts the force, uh, so he had a rectangular uh, form then, where he put. And they are swimming there, he fixed them to the ground so the wind cannot uh, displace them. And also he observed uh, then this, that the water still become more clear. Now he can see more than one meter uh, from the surface down and he has beautiful koi uh, fish there. You know this this colorful carp. Oh yeah, koi are beautiful. Fish. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He he does not have them for eating, just for for pleasure. Yeah, for pleasure. Yeah, mm. that's a very good story. Wow, <laughs> really? Herbert. Herbert, there is a question here in the chat. Yes, somebody's asking what was the micron size of the filter. 
Oh, I should ask him. This is a typical filter, multi-layer filter. Um, um, which the farmers use for irrigation to filter the water, but I don't know what uh, micron size. Okay, thank you. Yeah, there, there are around 20 or 30 layers of, of the filter. Mm. Herbert, I think you are uh, quite involved in, in water purification. Is that, is that correct? Uh, yes, I, I started uh, a project. I started the project in, in in Uganda because my wife is from Uganda, and I wanted to stay there in 2010-11. Uh, and therefore, I, together with an Austrian who invented a mobile uh, filter system, this ultra filtration. And we built a few thing, uh, a few filters there. But now through this experience, uh, and I also when when you when you look at, at my website, uh, Gaia-Africa.com, you see also a bigger project for water filtration. And uh, I <clears throat> I wanted to. I thought now, when I know uh, it's plasma technology, to do uh, before the filter, already put in Gans material in, in the bottles. But with this experience, I immediately stopped my thought uh, because that would not probably not go through the filter, the, um, like, like in this case here. So only after filtered water, I would then uh, use... Uh, uh, Gans to elevate the soul of that water. Yes, yeah. that's very interesting. Thank yeah. you for for sharing, Herbert. Yeah, and, uh, maybe you can keep us up to date if you're doing more experiments, and maybe you can use more of it for water purification. That'd be yeah. great. For water purification, I have uh, no experience yet with with the plasma water i have experience with using moringa seed for water purification i don't know if mm. you heard before mm -hmm. yeah, yeah yeah i know no moringa yeah yeah with the seed. i think there's experiments running already with uh, with the with the gans water as well so yeah 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 be interesting thank you mm -hmm. you're welcome thank you very much Thank you. And Herbert, there's a request from uh, Tinjin asking you to put the your name for the Facebook page because people are curious. They want to see is it your feb your Facebook or your website that you were talking about where you have um, more information. I think that's the question. Is that right, Tinjin? Yeah, this is the. Um... Come. This is the website. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, this was also my preparation for South Sudan. Actually, uh, was um, before I got to know uh, Cash Foundation. To I wanted to uh, sell the water filter in South Sudan, but it did not work out because of the conflict and the high inflation there. But it was a preparation so that I could come in now and, and uh, with the colleagues they helped me to prepare for the to give the works uh, the, the seminar and and the teachings there. So thank you very much. Isn't it wonderful how life prepares us and we're not even sure yes. what we're doing and then suddenly we realize oh all these stuff. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Oh. It's uh, uh, it was my child's dream when I still was a small boy, one day I will go to Africa. And, and, uh, and now I see the dream come through. And Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. Beautiful, thank you. Anyone else like to share their experiences? 
or show pictures or tell us what they have done, they have tried out, they have... Hello. Hello, who's this? This, this is Marie from Norway. <laughs> Hello Marie from Norway, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> uh, I have some pictures uh, to show uh, what I've done this summer <laughs> in the holidays. Yeah. Can you tell us what this is about, Marie? Uh, I have uh, made uh, something I think is uh, deuterium, and I have uh, ups, uh, I've started on tritium, but it's just the uh, uh, mm -hmm. set with the plates and stuff. Do you want to tell us what you do? Uh, just for the ones who don't know you. Uh, I'm a student uh, at Cash Foundation, internal mm -hmm. student. Private student. Um, and, yeah. and I have another uh, very, uh, for me, interesting project um, with the plastic uh, balls. So I have triple cores. So I had two different projects. One where I uh, had empty balls that are nano coated and uh, glued together uh, in trip. So they were triple, like three layers. Like the skin of the man, because Mr. Kersh is always talking about the skin of the man, so I think that's a clue to something. Uh, and uh, uh, I loaded, the, um, I can show my pictures. I loaded these triple balls. Uh, it says, we'll stop. Yeah, maybe you can show your pictures and then we know what you're talking okay. about. Okay. Can I do that now? Okay, yes. Okay, um, yeah, uh, I have a folder with some pictures here. You can see the picture. Yes, thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, this is my uh, tritium uh, thing. So it's a, a, a nano-coated copper plate and it, it's a zinc plate. And uh, um, it's a glass vase with a glass glass like a wine glass inside and uh, i had um, uh, ch3 gans and water maybe i should have removed the water but uh, now it's sealed because there's a big uh, glass uh, on top of the base so i was thinking maybe i should take out the water from the top of the ch3 gans but uh, then I will uh, get a lot of uh, oxygen in, and carbon and everything. So I, I leave it like that. That's one project. Yeah, and here's my plastic box. But I'm going, yeah. This is, uh, here I'm trying to make uh, deuterium. Uh, it's, it's like a CH3 uh, uh, box, but with... Um, old battery in the middle, with, uh, which is about uh, 0 0.5, I think, volts. And this is the result of that. So it's not black, but it's really, really strange Gans. It's very fluffy and uh, I think it's something. <laughs> um, and back to my... Um, uh, plastic balls because uh, I have uh, you know I had these triple balls plastic balls uh, and I nano coated them first and then I had them into these ceramic things that are in um, a mix of uh, different ganses um, so my first project, were, uh, all my three or yeah, three balls were the same, um, but with different ratio in the water underneath uh, or around the ceramics. So it's like one, ten, uh, hundred. It's the ratio to make them not uh, the same ratio. But they, they contain the same. This is, uh, I think, tritium or something we think is tritium. <laughs> um, and you can see I have a lot of uh, plastic boxes because this is for my um, 
uh, next uh, project as well, which is bigger. <laughs> so I have 12 nano-coated plastic boxes. That's my start. And then I have this rate seal with 100, that uh, one, ten, hundred, and thousand. And it's uh, approximately like one drop of uh, hydrogen, uh, 10 drops of hydrogen, 100 drops of hydrogen, and uh, 1,000 drops of hydrogen, approximately. And then I moved this, uh, and uh, in this um, experiment, I uh, I nano-coated each layer. I wanted triple balls, but I nano-coated each layer. So the inner ball is hydrogen one. Uh, and the uh, middle ball is deuterium ratio one. And the outer ball is tritium uh, ratio one. And then I had with 10, and then I have with 100. And then on the right there, I did the opposite, but I still used another ratio. So here I didn't have the, the smallest ball in hydrogen, I had it in tritium to make it like a different uh, way. And then I put the balls together like this is triple balls. Is so it is, a, it is a, sorry to interrupt you, it's a plastic ball within a plastic ball within a plastic ball? Yes, and, and they the are Russian all doll. and they are nano-coated and they are loaded in these uh, jars that I showed. Uh, so, and I can feel that there, the energy or the fields are in the ball. Um, so I know that some I get the fields into probably the nano layers of the plastic ball. And then I tried to uh, put them in the star formation. The, bo the box it's in is also nano coated. Uh, and, uh, and then I tried to uh, kind of start because I want them to rota rotate. <laughs> Uh, so I moved uh, the one of the balls over to the another one because I saw Mr. Kesh do something like that on uh, one of the uh, latest uh, knowledge seekers workshops. So I tried that, but I can't uh, tell that anything is happening. But there is a lot of energy in this box, just to say that. Um, and I have another picture. Uh, just a so what you're trying to do, if I understand this correct, you're trying to catch the fields and and not using the the Gans water in the balls. You're trying to yeah. pull the fields into those three balls. Yeah, and and mm -hmm. I think I uh, I can feel I can feel that there is a lot of energy in the balls. So some. I think the fields from these baths, baths that I showed, I showed uh, um, are moving into the balls and into the nano layers. That's, I'm pretty sure of that. But from there, I cannot get any rotation. In this picture, I have the fourth ball, who is the, so I have in the, in the, um, uh, lower uh, uh, three balls, I have like one ratio, one, ten, and hundred. And on top, you can see in the middle, there is a higher up, it's in the glass, so it's lifted up. It's the th uh, thousand rate ratio, and it's also uh, opposite of the others. So the hydrogen is the outer ball, and, and the, it's, then it's the terium, and then it's the tritium on, on the inner core in a way. Um, so that's where my project stranded <laughs> because uh, yeah so I need to learn something more but I think yeah well um, I've been working a lot with the trying to understand it and uh, I think there, there is something to this. So you're busy experimenting there, I can see. Thank you. Uh, and I uh, uh, just uh, that's mm -hmm. finding some of the other. Uh, you see, 
I've uh, had a lot of experience in my kitchen. This, and this is uh, the um, and this is the project with the 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 bikes that you put in the corners to heat your uh, house. So I made a lot of those, and and I made the, like Eric and Eva and many more probably, and and now I turned off all the heating in my house and my my house is warm. It's, so that's a, that's a field uh, project that really works because it's the the fields who heat the house. Oh, that's uh, Maria, for, for those who who haven't seen the previous testimonial meetings, would you be able to to explain that again? What you're doing with these bags? Yes, uh, you see, uh, there are. I had four glasses with uh, Gans and liquid plasma, so I had a little bit of glass uh, Gans in in them. So I, I, I took four glasses of. Uh, so one with CO2, one with zinc, one with uh, CuO, and one with CH3. And then there is one drop of everyone in everyone, if you know, if you understand what I mean. That's very important. Um, so they are, and that's the communication line between all this, uh, we think, or at least I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I made these plastic bags out of the glasses. So, so this uh, the CO2, CO2, CO2 has one drop of the CH3 and one drop of the zinc and one drop of the um, CuO in it in 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 the glass that has started off. And all these. Uh, um, of the same color uh, are taken from the same glass of mix, you know. So I made all these uh, bags ready, so I can place them out in my whole house, and and um, and that, because I wanted them to be from the same mix, you see. So it's the same mix. In a way. Yeah. And then did you attach it to all the walls in your house or the windows or have you done that? I have uh, in the windows somewhere and and uh, I have it uh, on the floor somewhere and uh, so but the the, uh, the rule that I've learned is that this CO2 is going to be south on the south uh, I know, uh, I think Eric and, uh, at least Eric and Eva has put them in the corners, but I, I haven't, because I wanted to do slightly a little uh, different to see if it works. I have it on the wall that is on the south, CO2, and on the north I have zinc, and on the west I have CuO, and on the east, I have a CH3 in in uh, nearly every, every room, or I have in every room, actually. And and uh, no one here is complaining about cold uh, that the house is cold. And I turned off all the heating, and uh, the weather has been really bad outdoors. So it's really cozy and warm everywhere. <laughs> Wow, fantastic. It works. Yes, everyone has to try that. That's so easy yeah. to do. Yeah. So you reversed, you said you put the zinc at the north and the CO2 at the south. Did I understand that right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have this uh, uh, CO2 to the north. I have the zinc at the south. I have okay. the CUO at the west and I have the CH3 at the Okay, I'm sorry, I misunderstood you. I oh, maybe, you I, maybe I uh, mixed it up. So just to get it right one more time, just for me yeah. who wants to definitely do this in Canada, thank you. Yeah, uh, everyone should do this before winter. <laughs> so it, you did it, you did do it like Eric did it, which was CO2 north and zinc was at the south, south right? South. Oh, okay, that's good. Thank you. Hun. Yeah, and then CUO on the west and CH3 on the 
it's, and each one of those little bags has a drop of the other bags in them. Well, right? I mixed it in uh, before. In the you know? cup, yeah. yeah. Yeah, in the cup. So idea. I had a big uh, cup and then I just used it when I made those uh, because I have this vacuum vacuum machine that I can make those very nice uh, bags. And I think I got that uh, vacuum machine from Denmark from Eric, so I can thank oh, you for that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Eric. <laughs> Yeah. Beautiful, thank you. Yeah. Does anyone have questions for Maria in regards to her experiments or would like to add anything? So I can stop share. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, that was beautiful. Thank you. Very inspiring to us other women. Thank you. Oh, great. <laughs> Yes, that would be nice if we could all heat our house, house with the with the Gans bags, Gans water. Absolutely. Do we have more experiments here? Somebody else who'd like to share and enlighten us, make us do our own experiments. I I want to add a comment to, to the the project that I have. Uh, that have kind of stranded the, with the, my uh, star formation with the triple uh, balls that I um, loaded uh, each uh, differently. Uh, if anyone has any suggestion how I can move forward with my project, I would be very happy to get some tips. <laughs> Yes, that would be great. Maybe we get some ideas for you. Do we have anyone else who would like to share with us? If so, just open your microphone and speak freely. It's very quiet here. Um, we don't have Renee with us, do we? Or Thomas? Don't see any of them tonight. No, I don't see them here. Well, it is the last week of summer, so maybe people are uh, enjoying their last week of summer school. The classes yes. start again. And... Everyone's busy doing the experiments. That's mm -hmm. right. <laughs> okay. So if we don't have anyone else who'd like to share anything, then we probably finish for the... If there's, if there's no one else, <laughs> um, I can share my little experiences. <laughs> uh, I made a pain pen and um, I soaked it in... Um, CO2 guns, which is really, as I, I'm told, is 80% um, CNO zinc and 20% um, carbon dioxide because of the way I made it. I used a battery. Anyway, I, it's a very rudimentary pain pen. It's, it's in a, a plastic tube and I, the, the, the um, points on the bottom are all different lengths and they may touch or they may not. But there's a central um, pin, a smaller coil and a larger coil. Anyway, I have no pain. And so I had nothing to, you know, I had no way of knowing if this thing worked and had it about two months now. 
and um, about, about a week ago, 10 days ago, I, um, I had had a sensitive tooth. I, I, could, I couldn't even drink water um, to take a, a vitamin without having a terrible whatever. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. It wasn't pain, but it was worse than pain, I guess. And I, was, I had um, releg been relegated to taking a small um, soda bottle or like a, a Bragg's cider vinegar bottle with a small opening at the top. So when I drank, it would go straight down. It wouldn't hit my, my tooth on the, on the right side. And I'm not sure if it was upper or lower tooth <laughs> in the back. Anyway, um, it occurred to me to try my pain pen. And within 10 minutes, it was a terrible, th oh, I know, it started throbbing. And before that, it had only um, been noticeable when I put hot or cold on it, even warm. Um, then one night it started throbbing. I said, oh boy. <laughs> so I, I tried this thing. And um, within 10 minutes, the throbbing subsided. The next day, I thought it was going to start again. I felt a couple of throbs, and then it went away. I didn't. I hadn't used the pain pen again. I just. I thought it was coming back, and it. It did a couple of throbs and went away. And it hasn't been back since. Well, that's fantastic! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there was something else and I can't recall at the moment. Um, what it was that I used it for. Um, well, if someone else has something to say, I just, can I, um, make a comment about my, my cat? I, yeah, uh, Patricia, can I just ask you there, you were saying you have a pain pen and it was, was it two outer calls and one one pin and you had just yes yes it was a um it is mm -hmm. an outer coil an inner coil and a central pin i didn't think it was going to work because these the, these extensions the points are maybe two and a half two inches long each of them but they're not even straight they're like curved <laughs> and um i wasn't sure it was going to work uh, as I said, I had nothing to try it on. Um, and I, and you I had, did I you stuck, put on the, the CO2 uh, CO, guns water just on the middle pin or on the whole? The whole thing. Whole pen, okay. The whole thing. Um, I fire coated them because that seems to be the only way I can get something done. <laughs> um, and I, as I said, the CO2 was probably mostly zinc because I used the battery process. So like Alex was talking about um, in August that he had a mixture of the two and I, and I can only think that he had it because of that reason, the, the CO2 and the zinc. But I under, do understand that there's supposed to be a small amount of um, zinc in it anyway because we're using zinc plates. But According to the agricultural workshop, when they were talking about using the battery method, it, um, it's the only way I could get, it, get any um, CO2 uh, collection. I was desperate, so I put the battery on it. So but then when I listened to the, um, uh, the agricultural workshop, they said that well, if you do that, you're getting a um, max, you know, mostly 80% zinc, ZNO, and 20% of the carbon dioxide. Anyway. Um, oh, there's oh a yes, comment. yes. The other thing. I realized the other thing. I had a um, pain in my elbow. I can't imagine why. I didn't fall. 
um, it was swollen and it started getting me pain. I, uh, somehow God's giving me pain so I can prove this pain pen works. Anyway, it, it <laughs> took me overnight with the pain pen rested on a pillow and my my elbow on top of the pillow with this um this was a toughie um by morning it had um subsided significantly and mm, now this is only about two days ago now i would say it's 99.9 percent .9 gone I, when i bend my elbow i can see that something was there. So it worked on that too. Although it did take overnight with it, you know, I, I fell asleep with, with it on my, pointing at my elbow. Um, That's fantastic. I, I want to just uh, give you a little feedback from one of the uh, participants who reminded us that in one of the teachings, Mr. Kesh said they stopped making pens with coils because with liquid plasma only, it works better. So if you have a little container that you can use like a pen. That's what I use. The, um, without the coil so in it. Without Sorry. the, say that again? Just using the liquid plasma water, maybe with a little bit of GANS in it, but you don't actually need the coils anymore um, because the liquid plasma works as, as, as well, if not better. Well, I, I saw that some people were use, extending the, the top of the um, the coils, and without having a um, it bending back to the um, on itself, they were adding little vials of of I don't know if they're using the, the plasma water or the um, the guns itself. I don't remember. But you're saying that the pl the the plasma water, not the guns, is necessary. Well, I will. Probably for myself, I would always make sure there'd be a little bit of GANS in my um, liquid plasma, just because that's my nature. But it said right here that you can just use the liquid plasma only. You don't need the coils. And I do remember that. You don't need it. the coils? No. The coils. That? Yeah. So you no longer need to. Well, will to, you apply it? Spray uh, it? Well, you know, they make these vials that have a point at them at the end. And or even a rounded end, it doesn't matter. I don't think so much. But whatever, what did, when you put your pen together, right. what did you use as a container for your pen? Well, I'm using a um, just an old pen, a, a, a plastic, clear plastic tube from yeah, the hardware so, store. Okay, and what's at the bottom of that tube? Is it pointed or rounded? <laughs> no, no, it, it's filled with hot glue. Ah, okay. Well, there are different tubes around, uh, maybe in medical labs or just in different stores. I remember a friend of mine sent me a pain pen he made, and uh, he sent me an extra vial, and that vial is like gold to me because I can't get seemingly get those vials here. But uh, I, I, I tried. Are, Go ahead. There are a vial that has actually looks like a pen at the bottom. And you oh, can pointed build, bottom? Yeah, like a big, big crayon, but even bigger than that, maybe. Oh, they right, the side crayons, crayons. yeah. And they are using the GANS liquid plasma in there, and so you don't even need the coils. In other words, filling that with the, with the, the liquid. GANS, yeah. Really? Yeah, really? so that might be something you uh, want to investigate further, because um, as we mo move closer and closer to the fields and away from the physicality, the the quicker I think we'll all understand the fields around us and, and their power. So I just wanted to add that into to your knowledge because uh, I know that as we learn, it just seems to become not obsolete, but everything is growing so much more quickly now. And the, the pen that you made is your your journey into this. It's great that you did it. You know, congratulations, because it's when you start making things that, that the science and technology makes more sense. Hmm. So, uh, where, where do I find those vials? That's a good question. Does anybody know to where to find? Because I, I had searched for vials that I could put the, the coil in, and I the manufacturer that I found net, refused to give me the interior diameter to see if the uh, the coils would fit in it. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, you get a lot of it on on Amazon. 
But I see we have a we have somebody here. Um, Hassan would like to add something. Maybe he oh, has great. maybe he has a tip here. Do you want to open hello, your microphone? Hello. There? hello. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear us? Yes. Eight o'clock p.m. In uh, your connection is very weak there. He, he did. Hassan did add a note here. I wanted to add something. Mm -hmm. Never forget the intent. It is the most. Senegal, we're not there it is. We can hear you, Hassan. Go ahead. Yeah, so uh, I just want to add that the most important thing never, never, ever to forget is to add your intent. So the intent is the most powerful thing that Mr. Kesh has taught us. And I tried uh, with, with pens with liquid plasma only, and it works as well as if it has some gans or not in it. So most of them, most of the pens I made, or uh, it's they are with uh, the first one were with some some of the gans. And uh, but afterwards, I tried it only with liquid plasma, and it works as well as with some gans in it or not. So uh, you have to go uh, as in the, I think it was in your second public testimonials. And the first, the first time you, you made pens or you made uh, plasma, plasma stuff, when you want, when you try it, when you explain it to people with no pain, uh, they, they, never, they never trust you. It's hard to trust. But so go to people with, with pains and when you give them, put your intent in it, and when they will be come back, you'll see the light shining on their face. And I tried it in people with headaches, and it took something like five or ten minutes just by putting the pen on the ear. The head, the headaches go after ten minutes. The tooth aches go after three minutes by pointing it on the tooth, or even by taking the gans water. I tried it on my on one of my one of my tooth, well, maybe, maybe you will say I'm crazy. I had an implant. I think it is a lead implant. So I, I put it off and I, 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 maybe for, for some days I tried with CUO just to kill bacteria and things like that because it was hurting. And uh, after the CUO, maybe I put the CUO for two or three minutes. Like I put two or three drops on a, towel a small towel and put it inside the 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 the, the, the hole which i had in my tooth and uh, for one week with ceo like one drop and two drops and afterwards when i when i when i when i feel some hurt i put gans uh, co2 gans on a towel and i put it on the hole and now it's been four months i still got my hole I do not follow the process of the cheese because Mr. Kesh said that if each night I think that we eat cheese, it will rebuild the the tooth. But uh, four months now, I I still had that hole, but no aches, no uh, nothing. It's hurting. I'm I'm living with that holes normally. Each time I each time I eat, maybe I have to to put out what is in the hole, but uh, no no no. Uh, no hurt, no pain. I'm living with it nicely, and uh, I think that uh, you, uh, the trust is built little by little, and uh, the intent is the most powerful stuff. So, put your intent in it. Yeah. That's Thank you I, for adding that, Hassan. Can I ask you where are you from? From Senegal in Africa. From Senegal. West Coast okay. Of Africa. Okay. Brilliant. Are you a student as well? Yeah. No, I'm not a student. I'm uh, I'm involved with Cash Fund Foundation. Like mm -hmm. maybe six months ago, I tried it on by myself with uh, whatever I can with, with people I meet. So sometimes I meet me I meet people with some aches in the back, and uh, they want to they want to try anything because their aches have been for years now, and when they try it, it take may, maybe maybe one, one one little story a woman which. I was sitting with, and we were talking, and uh, she was she had she had a, she was having a, a headache till nine o'clock in the morning, and when we were we were sitting and talking, it was six 
uh, it was a uh, four in the afternoon, four p.m. And she told me that she took two uh, two uh, pills for headache, but no way that the aches is still there. So I, I had a pain pen in my in my pocket. I gave her the pain pen, uh, put my intent, and wished that the pain w- the, the pain will, will will go. And she put it on her neck for five minutes, and the pain the pain went after five minutes. And she told me, believe it, believe it or not, the pain is gone. And uh, afterwards, she talked to me about the pains in the in the in the back. Ten years, she did not sleep because of the pain in the back. So I gave him, I gave her the pain pen for free, and I told her to try it. And the next day in the morning, she called me and told me that ten years now she have never slept uh, so so nicely. So it works. So the trust will be built by going to people with pains. So before, uh, the first time I met it, it like Mary said, it, I, maybe I hold it for two months. I did not try it on, on, on nobody. I was trying it on myself, but I was not sure it's working. But when I start to give it, and I always give it for free, it, it works better when it's for free. Even if you don't have money to live, try to try to to find another way to live but if you can buy the foundation give it for free with your soul everything works better thank you very much for everybody thank you for listening and thanks for mr cash and for all of you for the testimonials and hoping that we'll have more and more of this and it will be spread all around the world thank you hassan for sharing your beautiful story there I hope you come back and uh, have more for us, just like everybody else. I hope so. I will come back. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Do we have anyone else who'd like to share their experiences in any area? Okay, and I think we, we're going to wrap up for tonight, for today. And I'm thanking everybody. Again, it was wonderful to hear from all of you. And I hope we meet again. This was the, the 10th public meeting for testimonials on the second Monday of every month. Today is Monday, the 11th of September, 2017. And we meet again in October, second Monday. I'll just have to check what date that is. That should be the 9th of October. So I hope to see you all again, hear more from you. 9th of October, 2017. And I'm thanking everybody for participating tonight. Thank you. And thank you to Mr. Cash and to Stanley for making this happen tonight. Thank you so much. (laughs) Yes, thank you. Good point. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you, Danny, for doing what you do.